early Earth might have been purple, not green. There's a theory that ancient microbes used molecules other than chlorophyll to absorb sunlight. These molecules likely gave living organisms a violet tint. Scientists are almost sure that our planet once had two moons. One of them was a tiny thing, no larger than 750 miles across. Unfortunately, it crashed into the other moon, which is now Earth's only natural satellite. Until recently, there was one more object orbiting our planet. It was a temporary mini-moon, called 2020 CD3. This tiny space rock, no bigger than three feet across, was pulled into our orbit more than a year ago. Astronomers believe the mini-moon left Earth's orbit in March. From 60 to 100 tons of space dust drift down to our planet's surface every day. These tiny cosmic particles are mostly released by comets, which are usually made of dust and ice. When the sun turns this ice into vapor, the remaining dust travels down to Earth. If you look at Earth from space, you'll see a blue ocean planet. Almost 70% of its surface is covered with water, and its average depth is 14,000 feet. But if you gathered all the water into a sphere, it would be a mere 870 miles across, just barely enough to cover Texas. And that's including all the water in the seas, oceans, rivers, lakes, ice caps, groundwater, and even those tiny droplets in the atmosphere. All Earth's air, yep, all 5,140 trillion tons of it, would make a slightly larger ball. By the way, the further away from the surface, the less dense the atmosphere is. That's why half of Earth's air is within the first three miles above the surface of the planet. Every 200,000 to 300,000 years, our planet goes through a magnetic pole reversal. It's not an instant process, though. It can last hundreds or even thousands of years. We live inside the sun. Its atmosphere stretches far beyond its visible surface. And even though Earth is 93 million miles away from the star, it's still within the reach of the sun's atmosphere. Auroras happen when charged particles from the sun get caught by Earth's magnetic field and crash into the upper atmosphere near the poles. The Hudson Bay of Canada is a gravitational anomaly. This area has lower gravity than any other place on Earth. You'd weigh less standing at the equator than at one of the planet's poles. Mars has only 15% of Earth's volume and less than 10% of its mass. And still, the red planet and Earth have almost the same land mass. It's because about two-thirds of our planet's surface is covered in water. The Pacific Ocean contains more than half of the world's free water. It's also by far the largest ocean. All Earth's continents could easily fit into the Pacific Basin. Our planet is gradually slowing down the speed of its rotation. It happens at an unhurried pace of 17 milliseconds per 100 years. Because of this, our days are becoming longer. And still, only after 140 million years, the day on Earth will last 25 hours. The ocean on Jupiter isn't made of water. It's filled with metallic hydrogen, and its depth is a staggering 25,000 miles. That's actually almost the same as the circumference of Earth. A year on Mercury is just 88 Earth days long. This planet also has an extremely squashed orbit. Its distance from the Sun varies from 28 to 43 million miles. Even when you're standing, sitting, or lying still, you're moving at more than 1,000 miles per hour. That's the speed at which our planet is spinning through space. At the same time, you'd be moving at this incredible pace only if you're at the equator. Pluto's atmosphere rises much higher above the surface of the dwarf planet than, let's say, the atmosphere of Earth. It also has more than 20 layers. All of them are cold and condensed. Methane gas is a byproduct of natural processes, and this very gas is present in the Martian atmosphere which confuses astronomers to no end. Mars produces around 270 tons of methane per year. Scientists can't figure out where the gas is coming from. Earth's southernmost continent, Antarctica, is only the fifth largest one, but it contains almost 70% of the planet's fresh water and 90% of the world's ice. Antarctica is also considered to be a desert. The inner regions of this continent 
get just 2 inches of precipitation a year. In the form of snow, of course. Mercury's surface is wrinkled. It happened when the planet's iron core cooled down and contracted. The wrinkles can reach a height of one mile and stretch for hundreds of miles. Lots of rocks on Earth have a Martian origin. Scientists analyzed the chemical content of some meteorites found in the Sahara Desert, Antarctica, and other places. And it turned out these rocks had arrived from the Red Planet. The only asteroid belt in the solar system astronomers know about lies between Mars and Jupiter. There are thousands of asteroids in this region, but they're extremely widely spaced. If you had to go through that area, the chances of colliding with an asteroid would be almost non-existent. The four largest asteroids, sometimes called minor planets, contain half the mass of the entire belt. And still, the total weight of all the asteroids there is a mere 4% of the Moon's weight. Mercury is the most cratered planet in the solar system. Its craters are named after famous musicians, artists, and writers. The valley called Valles Marineris on Mars is more than 10 times larger than Earth's Grand Canyon. The origin of this valley puzzles astronomers. After all, Mars isn't a planet known for its active plate tectonics. Atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times greater than that on Earth. Venus also has a much denser atmosphere. That's why only big meteorites can make it to the planet's surface. The smaller ones get slowed down and fall into pieces before reaching the ground. Our planet has its magnetic field thanks to scorching hot liquid metal that's flowing inside its outer core. This creates electric currents, and they, in turn, generate the magnetic field. For the past 200 years, the planet's magnetic north pole has moved northward for about 600 miles. These days, it's traveling faster than it used to, 40 miles per year versus 10 miles per year several decades ago. Volcanoes on Pluto, which are called cryovolcanoes, spit not lava, but ice. Instead of molten rock, they erupt water, methane, and ammonia. Jupiter's mass is twice greater than the mass of all the other planets in the solar system combined. Earth is the densest planet in the solar system, but this density varies depending on the planet's part. For example, the crust is less dense than the solid metallic core. Saturn's upper atmosphere is divided into layers of clouds. Those at the top are made of ammonia ice. Then, there are water ice clouds, and below them, layers of sulfur ice and cold hydrogen. Uranus rotates on its side. The reason for such an unusual position could be a powerful ancient collision. But so far, it's just a theory. By the way, Uranus is the only planet sitting on its side. Venus rotates in the opposite direction to the Sun. The reason might be a powerful collision with an asteroid or another space object. Iapetus, one of Saturn's moons, has an unusual coloring. It's two-toned. One of its sides is dark with a slight reddish hue, while the other is bright. Scientists haven't cracked this mystery yet. Jupiter's moon Io has hundreds of active volcanoes on its surface. It's the most volcanically active body in the entire solar system. The moon is covered in lava lakes and plains of liquid rock. Plumes of sulfur spew up for almost 200 miles. It takes light more than four hours to travel from the Sun to Neptune. Of all the planets of the solar system, Jupiter has the shortest day. It lasts for nine hours and 55 minutes. Such a rapid rotation speed gives the planet its slightly flattened shape. 